All right, hello everybody, Zax299 here. Just wanna go ahead and put out an update of something very odd that's been happening, not so much on my main Zax399 account, but on the couple of other accounts I have associated with my Zax399 account, uh, like Virtual Venom, for example, which is the account I use to stream from, from like my PS4 and things like that when my internet was out for like four or four and a half months last uh, winter. So what's been happening is I will notice like 15 to 20 subscriptions to like all these, you know, YouTube streamers and Turkey and like Russia and all these weird names. Channels I would never even watch, much less subscribe to. Now I've cleared them out here except for this one here and I'll show you what's going on with this guy. But a lot of these uh, streamers that I found myself automatically subscribed to a couple of different times and I unsubscribed to them all and then I'd come back the next day and I'd be resubscribed to the ones I unsubscribed to, plus, you know, a dozen more. And we're talking about names like this, like Ukin Ishmok, and ling languages I don't even understand. Like I said, I wouldn't be watching these videos, much less be subscribing to these kinds of channels. And that's why all these channels here are coming up recommended videos for you on my Virtual Venom account, is because I was recently subscribed to a bunch of people with, uh, you know, Turkish and Russian and all kinds of channels like this. But before we show you guys what to do, I just want to show you one of the uh, subscriptions that I have here, Mustafa Fatma. Definitely a channel I would never even watch. They don't even have any content. In fact, it says this channel does not exist. I'm subscribed. And if I go in and click subscribe here to unsubscribe, it'll say subscribe. But if I refresh the page, I'm still subscribed to the guy, and now it says subscribe again. And I can do this all day long, but I'll never actually unsubscribe from this channel that does not exist. Also, a lot of these channels that I was subscribed to have like millions of subscribers, but no content. How does that make sense? It's very, very suspect when a channel has no content, no videos, but they have 5.5 million subscribers. So I can't be the only person this is happening to. Something, someone, or YouTube somewhere is going in and allowing people access to go and you know have people subscribe to their channels, or YouTube has some algorithm out of control. Or perhaps it could be some application that you've allowed to have full access to your YouTube account. So I'm gonna show you how to check that right now. So while browsing uh, the internet for problems, I found a lot of people over the past like 10 years that have had this problem come up uh, with their YouTube channels where they talk about things like this. And this is one such uh, person. Hi guys, I'm having a terrible problem with my YouTube account every day. I notice more and more subscriptions without my knowledge. I rarely subscribe to a channel. I only have about 20 channels I subscribe to and have no idea where these other channels came from. Some accounts are even terminated and with zero videos exactly what I was talking about exact same problem I just had and so this is happening to me the week of February 2017 as if my account is subscribing automatically to YouTube accounts without my permission like some sort of bot how can I stop this I spent every day of unsubscribing from these accounts but every day I check keep subscribing uh, to more and more accounts please help me and yeah when I first noticed this that my accounts were you know subscribed to like 20 plus channels that I never subscribed to I freaked out because the first thought I had was they went and changed my password on my Google account, you know, so I couldn't get back in it. I figured, you know, they might be deleting my videos or my content or uploading their own videos that would get me in trouble. So it really caused me to sweat there. I checked and uh, I, nothing like that had happened. They hadn't deleted any videos or done anything really, you know, really bad. I was just winding up with subscriptions to all these channels that I would never even watch, much less subscribe to, like this guy. So anyway, here we have uh, somebody here that works at YouTube. Uh, it says YouTube won't subscribe or unsubscribe to any channel without your notice, and it says your account is either compromised or hacked by uh, someone, or someone has access to it, or you gave permission to some third-party application or software or website. Uh, to manage your YouTube account. And that might be the case if you're noticing this problem with your YouTube account, or you could, you know, your YouTube account could have been hacked or uh, maybe you had a weak password or something like that. So the first thing you wanna do is go to security checkup here. And I will be providing a link to this website here so you guys can just click on that and go check out your own 
YouTube account as long as you're already signed in. If you're not signed in, it'll ask you to sign in. And it'll come in here, it'll show you the devices that have access to your uh, YouTube account. Those all look good. Um, and then uh, one thing I noticed is I didn't have like two-step verification on when this started happening. So I've established a two-step verification, that kind of thing. But the security checkup is gonna check and make sure there's no you know, red flags. You're gonna go ahead and continue to your YouTube account here. And right here, you wanna go ahead under sign in and security, you wanna click this link here, apps with account access. You're looking for this, and this is under Google, remember, okay? And notice it's my virtual Venom account. So we're gonna go ahead and go to apps with account access. And right here, you wanna take a look at these applications, apps with access to your account. Um, saved passwords, you don't need to really worry about that, but we're gonna go ahead and manage these apps. So here's all these applications. Now it's really hard for me because my kids have, you know, my YouTube account information and they're always signing up for all these like mob skins and gift cards at .com, stuff I would never go to. I don't know who did the $1 tap to win thing. Uh, that wouldn't have been me, probably one of my kids or my wife, I don't know. But what you wanna do is you wanna click on all these things, especially if you don't recognize an app that you've used in the past. Go ahead and click on it. And here you can remove the access if you need to, but it says it has access to basic account information. All this app can do is view my email address and view your basic profile information. And the website is that. So it also tells you when you gave the access to this application. So if you wanna remove the access, if you don't recognize the, uh, you know, the application, or you see something here where it can have full control of your YouTube account, you might wanna think about removing access to that application. Here, same thing, giftcards.com, just simply can view my email address and view your basic profile information. And uh, if you wanna remove it, all you gotta do is click the blue button. So what you're looking for here, guys, is, you know, like $1 tap to win. I don't even want any part of that. I'm just gonna remove the access, even though this doesn't have any, you know, big red flags. What you're looking for is something in red and it's going to say YouTube account manager or something like that. And it'll tell you it has full control of access to your content and uh, all kinds of stuff. So if it has the ability to fully manage your YouTube account, I believe that application can go in and subscribe to channels for you automatically, as well as do a lot of other things that you may not, uh, you know, want to give it permission to do. So if you do see anything in red or full account, you know, fully manage your account, fully manage your YouTube account, anything like that, you might want to remove the access, especially if you don't you know, know the application, never signed up to it, or you just simply don't want it to have that much control over your YouTube account. Yeah, if you're having this problem, I would definitely go ahead and start off by removing your access. So we're gonna go ahead and do that here and have a little bit of control over that. Now after that, guys, one thing you want to do as well is come to this link I'm providing down below and click on signing into Google. And another thing I would do is I would definitely change your password. So you can come right here, you can change your password. It'll show you when you last changed it. Make sure you change it to a password that is gonna be really hard to guess. I would use a combination of like words that are hard to guess, uh, you know, use a lot of capital letters, small letters, all kinds of things and numbers, uh, you know, explanation points, weird symbols, uh, use, a big combination and make a password that's gonna be really hard to guess. And then I would make sure you write it down somewhere safe. Uh, keep it somewhere safe so that you'll be able to sign in next time so you don't forget your own password. Yeah, so make sure you write it down, especially when you're thinking of something that's not easy for you to remember or easy for somebody else to guess. Uh, also, you wanna make sure that you do a two-step verification so that you know when you try to sign in to your YouTube account, that kind of thing, uh, it's gonna, you know, do a verification on your phone, for example, and make sure it's you. So I would definitely do this kind of stuff here and make sure you have all that correct. Also check out your recovery email and everything down there and make sure it's all good and correct. So hopefully that'll help you guys, you know, if you guys are in a similar situation to me where you find yourself subscribed to a bunch of uh, channels that you've never subscribed to in the past. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. If you guys find out you're in a similar situation to me and you're signed up to these people that you know you never even watch or subscribe to, like this guy right here, somebody YouTube had me subscribe to that I never watched or subscribed to.
without a doubt. Be sure you comment down below, guys. Let me know if this has happened to you as well and uh, what you've done to stop it or if it's still happening or if maybe it happened a year ago, whatever. Let me know down in the comments below, especially if you can add anything that might help somebody else out. This has been Zaxxer99. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.